again if I would have known I would have just bought flowers on the day like today I would have <laughs> made the effort to order flowers from my home and then like bring it over to the train but we learned as to how I fit things this time. I'm glad that I ordered some flowers to be sent to my place, but want to do it again? Probably not because it was just such a hassle traveling with the flowers. And because we're arriving into London like two days earlier than the actual day that I need it, like flowers like these, like peonies, really depending on how mature they are, these ones that I ordered, they are going to last till Sunday, but this is too open for my liking. I like these little tannier buds from my bouquet. And another reason why I'm glad that I went to the Covent Garden flower market is because I can get flowers that I want that weren't on the wholesale website. Let me do like a quick new Covent Garden market haul. So for example, these ones, these are El Stobie and they usually come in a batch of 50. So right now I can get like a batch of 10, which is a little bit more manageable. I also got some more white peonies, again, in smaller batches. This is the flower that I wanted that wasn't on their wholesale website initially. So these are like Orlea Queen's Lace. I don't remember the exact name, but it starts with O. And I just love like the little movement. They're very similar to Ami and Scabiosa. I also wanted Scabiosa, but I didn't have wire to wire them. And I feel like it might clash with the texture of these too much. So I skipped those. I also got some more better graded white roses, just because the roses that I'm bringing with me is already like burnt and that's not a good look. Well, because they have to travel, you know, all the way down to London, which I don't blame it, but still like the quality of the roses, I just can't have it on my bouquet. So yeah, in my initial first stop in the New Covent Garden market, like because then have like different stalls, right? So I just went to one stall that has array of variety that I like, that I think of getting, but they don't have the exact right color of peony that I wanted, hence why I got the second batch of peonies after. Just because this one, full of cream, it is very pretty, however it has a very pink tone to it and a lot of my other flowers have more of a white green tone, so in a way it doesn't really match if you can see what I mean. So I just decided to pick these ones up afterwards, which I should not have settled for these, but they're so pretty. I can always give it to like my photographer or makeup artist that I'll be seeing on Sunday. So 
that's fine. Or otherwise, I can just bring it back with me because it is peony season, which I am very fortunate to have this shoot during peony season because you know peonies are peonies. I really wanted like sweet peas as well, but the ones that I like are sold out, like they're sold. And the only ones like a white sweet pea that I wanted, like these ones. These are sweet peas. They don't look good and I just don't feel like I should get it just because I want it in my bouquet. Lastly, I got this, which is so heavy and tall. Oh my gosh. These are just different grades of roses, very similar to garden roses. The only reason why I didn't purchase garden roses in my bunch is although garden roses are so pretty their vast life like how long they'll last in water is relatively shorter so these are kind of like the things you need to think about when designing your bouquet so because my photo shoot is tomorrow i can just condition them and you know have them bloom the prettiest so right now i'm going to rearrange put aside the flowers it doesn't look too nice remove a lot of the leaves and give them a good drink. Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Conditioning of the flowers. These roses are so pretty, but they are quite risky because a lot of them have water stains. Let's see if I can show you an example. Like these brown water spots. Um, yeah, like these ones right there. That you can't tell when it's packed, but I don't need all of them. Thank goodness I have some backups. So pretty. Oh gosh, my inferiums are really damaged. Thankfully, I also bought some spare ones, but as you can see, there aren't any in the market. So I'm thankful that I got in these whilst I can from the wholesales. Flowers here, you can see the peonies are already starting to bloom in this warm room right here. So I'm going to place them back in our bedroom where there is air conditioning and give them a good drink before I start working with them, which should probably be this late afternoon. A few moments later. Hi guys, I'm back in the hotel now. It is 5.30 and I think I'm going to build my bouquet now. I'm going to take the flowers from my room. We've just been chilling nicely in the corner there and go from there. Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops tap dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling. So I just prepared my quote unquote recipe for bouquet number one. We have peonies, two types of roses, but there's just too little space, so I'll just pour it from this little batch here. Otherwise, we have a variety of filler flowers, if you will. Pistachios is to kind of frame the very bottom when I finish. These are the ones that I bought this morning, the Orlele, I don't know the name. These are Astilbees, Eupatorium, Tweedias, my sweet peas. They are looking quite weak. I think one snapped, unfortunately. We have Phlox and um, Strangia, which are still holding strong, and some Astromerias. 
So I do have an idea of what the bouquet is going to look like. So let's get started. The red I don't care today what the neighbors might say Put on my rain boots, my favorite chiffon dress I don't care today what the neighbors might say Cause I could stay inside and Type away inside, oh Make a today just a little less mundane, oh I could stay inside and Type away, say oh, take today. Oh, dancing in the rain. So, just hide the very initial first stage, and my hands are. So tired because it's so heavy. This is how it looks at the moment. There's lots of like roses, peonies, a lot of movement. I don't want to make it too big. It is very big for my size. I think all of these are kind of something they have to take into account too when you're working for a bridal bouquet. But I kind of want to go all out for this one right here. So yeah. Little pistachios, which smells very good as well. And I'm just going to frame them at the very bottom of the bouquet. You buy me every time you come around. I know that you will love it. Come and make some good times. Forget about the bad times. Progress pick. Did my own little twist to it. The very delicate, very light. Okay, which is nice compared to the other one just now. I don't think I'll add any leaves. Oh, let's see, right? Inferium, so some grass, eustomas. I'm going to. Flex this eustoma on the day to so tomorrow. Peonies and these ruskets, which gives such a unique modern characteristic to the bouquet. But I don't think I'll add any more. Tucked off in the loft pool and we be laid up Late nights at the studio, you be waiting up trying to stay out Hey, fuck all that makeup, little booty but she caked up I'ma wake up and then quake some, wake up and then quake some I'll let your wrist up, then I went and let your chain up I just pray you never change up, cause loyalty is everything, love Don't worry about the mother hoes, they in the way, love They can never penetrate with me and you got, fuck all that fake love Forget about the bad times 